Hey guys, welcome to the Wind Up, and of course today we are here with reigning US national champion. Maybe about 4 million views on <laughs> YouTube. Quite a few, yeah. Quite a few. Evan the guy, everybody. <laughs> Say hi. Hey, what's up guys? Aloha. And Evan is from Hawaii, mm -hmm. which we don't see too many players from anymore. Yeah, there used to be a lot, but now not as much anymore. What's the scene? So, so you really just... You, you got this good practicing pretty much on your own. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, I did do a lot of traveling. Right. So that's helped me to kind of connect with more people. I mean, of course, I go to contests mm. around the country and everywhere. But yeah, pretty much when I'm practicing for like worlds and stuff, it's all on my own. You're, you're locked down in your room, <laughs> putting, yeah. in, putting in your 10,000 hours yeah. to master a skill. Really? Exactly. That's that's rough, man. That's rough. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. I love it. So for some people, it's rough, but for me, I just love to do it. You know. So. Uh, first time in China. Second time. Second time. Yeah. But not first time in Shanghai. All right. How are you enjoying Shanghai? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got stomach flu. <laughs> so wait. So you just competed in one A. Yeah. Put up a great performance. Yeah. With and you all the while your stomach is queasy? <laughs> yeah, I took three pills to get it to settle down for a little while. But man, I've been like, this is kind of TMI, but I went to the bathroom like 10 or 11 times yesterday. Like, it's just been too gnarly. Wow. <laughs> well, so like besides that, Shanghai is awesome though. Like, I went to uh, like the Confucius Temple right. and just got to check out like the city and stuff. How's the competition? How was the entire competition yeah. or me competing? Uh, your experience, yeah. My experience was really good, actually. Really, I think the coolest thing was the excitement of the crowd. These guys are the best crowd. The in Chinese the world. crowd. The best. Really? Yeah. They, they go wild. They, they go, go wild. so wild. Like, they're all hyped about every single competitor, I feel like. So. And when you took the stage, <laughs> you took the stage and, and you did the dance moves, <laughs> yeah. that was pretty crazy. Yeah. When did you start uh, preparing for this year's routines? I started preparing in December. Probably around... December last year? December last year. <sighs> yeah. You guys are putting in work, man. Dude, it was gnarly. And, and I swear, I, I, can I swear? Maybe not. I'll just bleep it out. <laughs> I shit you not. I started like like in December, probably mid-December sometime, and I practiced four hours a day since that day. Like and, and so leading up to the contest, I sprained my finger, and also leading up to nationals, I sprained my finger, so I stopped practicing for two weeks, but I was still doing visualizations and meditation, pretending that I'm practicing. Yeah. So when you put in your four hours a day, mm -hmm. what is what is it like? Like, is it just the routine, the routine, the routine, or do you think about wait? So your four hours is just for your freestyle. It's not like coming up with new tricks. It is. It is. So that's so what it includes. It, is. it depends what time of the like how close I am to the contest. Right. So about like so this year I started in December until maybe about. April or May, I was constructing new tricks and trying to get it all to work, get the freestyle to look good in every right. way. So that's about six months of trick construction. Yeah, maybe less, like maybe four or five months, but yeah, wow. yeah. Okay, and that's then, intense. Yeah, and then from there, like, because the National Yo-Yo Contest was July 1st. Correct. So I was just practicing my routine that I constructed exactly like that. So from May till July. Yeah. So from May to July, no, no more new tricks go into the freestyle. It's, Sometimes it, it's it depends. Right. I try, I try to. Well, like it's almost like my freestyle was so optimized at that point that there's no tricks that really make sense to change. Right. Okay. It's okay. like I like there's no way I can do this better. I mean, there probably is, but like, as for consistency, like the stage presence, all the different categories, this trick is pretty much as optimized as I can be at the moment. Okay. Um. So from May to, sorry, from December till about May, your four hours a day is mostly coming up with tricks. Yeah, mostly coming up with tricks in relationship to the music. So, by the, so when did you choose your music? 
I chose, well, so this is a song that I chose in EYYC 2017. Yeah. So I decided to use this music last year at Worlds. Last year Worlds. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because I just decided, like, you know what, I've had it with, like, this, like, dramatic Busta Rhymes, well, like, Busta Rhymes and Kanye West type Yeah, music. it was cool. It but, was cool. But, yeah. But I wanted to, like, bring the heat, you know, okay. this year. Okay. And I just, and I thought, my, actually, that freestyle went viral. Uh at um, EYYC 2017. Yeah, the Leonard Skinner yeah. Freebird, right? Which is what you use as yep. well. Okay. It went viral that time, but not quite as viral. Um, and so then this one, I just was like, I could totally make this better. It's, okay. it's good, but like, if I did this in a certain way, it would be 10 times better. Okay. So I went to Nationals, did it, executed, felt really good about it, and yeah. <laughs> What's your goal? What's your goal? with this uh, with this freestyle my goal with this freestyle the tr the ultimate goal is to get a lot of exposure in media and stuff so that I can help grow yo-yoing as a whole that's my ultimate goal right right um, the goal in terms of like what kind of freestyle did I want to create I wanted to create something that was just the fully optimized the most optimized freestyle I could possibly do in every category including tech so tech and I saw a lot of lacerations as well, the hooks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the horizontals, just a variety, mm -hmm. but uh, no rolling around anymore. No rolling around. All business. All business. All business. I'm going to bring the roll back though. <laughs> uh, one, one day, if we find a cool variation or something yeah. difficult. Something something that'll score maybe, but even so, I'm probably going to roll around next year. Like if I happen to win rolls this year, I probably will roll around next roll, year. Roll, roll on stage, <laughs> man. How do, you, how do you find your performance uh, like in... An hour ago, how I'm in, sorry? in one A in one A finals, how do you find your performance? How do I find it? Uh, like, how did I feel about it? Yeah, um, I felt pretty good. I had a few fumbles, but I think it felt really good. I, I don't know, like in terms of just hyping up the crowd and stuff. Like, right. everybody yeah, was excited. Was, the crowd was hyped. So I was hyped. Yeah, I was hyped. You could hear it. I was, <laughs> I was way hyped. Uh, yeah. Did you come here to win? Did I? Yes. Yes, 100%, yeah. I definitely, I mean, that's not my first goal, right. like I said, but I definitely, of course, I want to win. Like, there's no question about that. And then you let it out. It's kind of like that. And you go for 30 breaths, and then, or 30 to 40 breaths, and then you let it all out on the 30 slash 40th breath, and then you hold your breath. 